Hello YouTubers, it's Champion DJK coming at you again with another Matchbox Monday episode. And again, we got five cars to show you on this Matchbox Monday. Uh, varying in the years from the late 60s all the way up to basically early 90s in these episodes. So again, we got five random castings to show you. We're going to start with this one here. This is number 56. It is the Fiat 1500. This is an oldie. Uh, this one, uh, this very car in this color was released from 1965 to 1968. It is in very good condition. Very, very mint, minty, minty. And uh, looks really, really cool. So this one's got suspension. It's got a, it's all metal construction. It is metal, right? Maybe it is plastic base, actually. That is a plastic base. All right, so plastic base, sorry about that. Metal body. And uh, just very, very cool little car. Um, not much detail. We got some detail in the front. We got that uh, luggage and stuff on the roof. Uh, the casting only was released basically from 65 to 68. And this is it right here. So this is a really cool little vintage uh, matchbox piece right here. Little trailer hitch. And just a neat little car. Yep, that is plastic. All right, so that is the first car we're going to take a peek at. And the next one we got is also, this one's number 57. This is the Ford Transit. So this is in a basic box. Uh, this is, I believe, from actually 1990, and here it is, it's a rider truck. This one's got a little suspension as well, for transit, we got lens detail in the front. This one is a plastic base, made in China. Uh, the Ford Transit, the casting itself was released from 86 to 94. And this one, I believe, came out in 1990 in this Ryder truck. It's kind of a neat little van casting. Kind of cool. I dig it. And let's see. Next up, we got another number 57. That's this one right here. This is the 4x4 Mini Pickup. Uh, this particular version that we're going to take a peek at here. Uh, was 1983 to 1989 so there's this has been released probably a ton there's probably a ton of these out there um, this one the the casting itself was from 82 to 89 so it was only made in one other variation that was available in 82 and then this from 83 to 89 you could find it mountain man it's a cool little truck though, definitely cool. This one is on uh, metal construction. Uh, it is in 167 scale and is a pretty neat little truck. I dig that, that's pretty cool. So that is your number three for today. <clears throat> Going kind of quick here. This, this is, uh, here's the number four. This is pretty cool. This is the wildlife truck. The wildlife truck, this particular one was released from 1973 to 1980, so I don't know which one this was, but as you can see, it's got a removable glass top, or not real glass, obviously, but uh, plastic. Um, it's got a sticker on it, not a tampo, and it's all metal construction, and it is a roll -o -matic. so as you roll it, the, uh, the uh, little lion there in the back walks around in a circle, paces around in a circle. So here's the base. Uh, which one of the wheels has the mechanism? It's this rear one right here. So as this rolls, it turns a wheel that makes the lion move around in a circle. Other than that, it's a pretty cool little yellow truck. Um, the wildlife truck, this is in 167 scale. I'm not sure what kind of truck it's actually based off of. Oh, Ford, duh, right on the back. 
So that is a neat one. I really like this one. I think this one is a really cool uh, matchbox piece. What do you guys think of that one? I think that is pretty awesome. So there's that. And then the last one that we're going to take a look at is the Fawn Dump Truck. This one is, was available from 1977 to 1982. And here it is. It's a big dump truck. So, uh, the base is plastic. It is Lesney made in England. Copyright date 1976. Number 58. The dump bed or whatever is metal. The whole rest of the body is metal. And it is a heavy uh, substantial piece. Uh, it's in one 140th scale. The actual casting itself was available from 77 to 82. So this is really like one of the few variations of it. Um, Fawn dump truck. So Fawn, it was an actual, uh, or is, I don't know if it still is, an actual company that makes heavy uh, moving equipment or whatever. But uh, this thing is pretty cool. A lot of play value here, which a lot of Matchbox did have. Um, in these early days of Matchbox. So that's pretty That's pretty much it for this episode. Definitely my favorite of the episode is probably that Rollomatic. But this old Lesney here, I'm just going to get it out one more time because it's probably going to be the star of the show for many people that watch these videos. This old Lesney Matchbox, it's in very, very good condition. I think it's just so cool. You know, a lot of people like, you know, vintage red lines and stuff. And yeah, you know, a lot of them could be a lot more valuable than these. Uh, but these older Matchbox cars, I think, are just cooler. They look, there's a lot of, there's a lot more going on uh, with them as far as, you know, this kind of looks like a little realistic little, you know, car. I think it's, I think it's pretty awesome. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know which one of these uh, Matchbox cars was your favorite. And, of course, check out more Vintage Matchbox Monday episodes. There is a playlist of these, so go check that out and uh, watch them all. And uh, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. So thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.